game. Let's have a read through these trading cards. Declaration of War. That's George W. Bush holding up a bag of cocaine or crack cocaine as evidence. Beautiful artwork. Let's read the description. Drug Wars. Number one. This is card number one. In his first nationally televised address, address from the Oval Office in September 1989, President Bush declared a $7.9 billion war on drugs. Brandishing a bag of crack cocaine, he called narcotics the gravest threat facing our nation. Quote, the greatest threat facing our nation. End quote. Every U.S. president since Richard Nixon has waged war on drugs, yet today they are more widely available than ever before. Bush's own involvement with drug wars began in 1971 when Nixon appointed him to the White House Cabinet Committee on International Narcotics Control. As vice president, Bush was Ronald Reagan's drug, drug czar heading the National Security Council's Drug um, Interdiction Task Force. Spending uh, Interdiction Task Force, yet during Reagan's presidency, while federal anti-drug spending tripled, cocaine supplies soared tenfold. 1990 saw new highs in worldwide narcotics production. Bush's plan echoes failed policies of echoes failed policies of previous administrations. Over 72% of funds are allocated for law enforcement, new prisons and inter interdiction, and less than 23% for prevention and treatment. The casualties of the war on drugs are mostly poor people of color, while the real criminals, bankers and businessmen who share the fabulous wealth created by the $300 billion a year worldwide drug trade are rarely punished. Historically, drug wars have been used by imperial powers as smokescreen for foreign intervention. The US, for the US, this has taken the form of spending sending military aid to corrupt allies who use the weapons not not against drug traffickers with whom they are often in league but to crush their internal policy uh, political enemies meanwhile u.s agriculture and trade policies encourage production and export of deadly legal drugs drug war trading cars text copyright 1991 Paul Brancato Art 1991 Salim Yukup Eclipse Entertainment PO Box and we know that now one of the stories here okay now keep this name in mind Gary Webb okay in this sentence here that you see da 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 Yet, during Ronald Reagan's pres presidency, while federal anti-drug spending tripled, cocaine supply soared tenfold. Okay, that is not a coincidence or bad management. That is the CIA running drugs. And we know this because of Gary Webb's reporting and look into the... Uh, investigative journalist in-depth investigative journalistic work that he put out called the dark alliance okay and gary webb was suicided epstein uh he was basically assassinated for what he put out and he was blacklisted by the establishment by the so-called news agencies by the government and targeted okay 
that's card number one this alone would be at least a couple of classes in any history class in any grade in high school